this poem is about good things, because I need that. All right. So you know you have those friends who are a little bit crazy and a little bit loud. Well, I've got one who uh, will do things I'm not allowed to talk about, but not in the bad sort of the way, but in the way that I don't want to get him in trouble. And it wasn't really something that was bad, except like he kind of ate some hand sanitizer. Anyway, we were at the park the other night. It was 10 p.m. The lights were off, playing hide and seek. Now, that's a really fun thing kind of do, to do, you know. You're on these swing sets for kids, but it's dark, so it's kind of for adults, and you're all teenagers, so are you kids, or are you adults? I don't know. Video production. Making things, creating things that, like, no one's ever seen, like, making funny jokes, or making things that don't make sense, or making up for what you missed, or making something new, you know. Creating jokes and pennies that fly through the air just slightly out of frame being carried by someone's finger or I think a chili bowl one time. Yeah, it ricocheted off of the wall but that was all special effects. It ricocheted off of the wall and it hit someone in the head but that was all special effects. There's dents on it that's not st special effects. They weren't there before. <laughs> My favorite thing about having a group of friends is that we always have each other's backs, you know? I still have panic attacks about being left back or left behind, but I, I know that this time I won't be. My favorite thing about going out to roller skating is just like gliding down the middle and looking up and just letting the breath carry over your face. The warm contrast with the cold, but you don't feel cold because you've been skating so much that your legs hurt. And my legs hurt because I haven't been skating in a while, but it's always fun just to be back on the rink. Sometimes there's a roller derby girl for you, and sometimes you're there with your friends, and they're all dorks, and they're cool, and they're fun. Sometimes you're just sitting there having a conversation, eating mozzarella sticks with someone that you never thought you'd have a conversation with. Sometimes you go to a poetry slam and you have conversations with people that you've seen every time and you wonder if you should make a joke like, Hi, I haven't met you yet when you've clearly known each other for a while and like, on a first name basis at least. Uh, favorite things. Favorite things are like listening to a song until you actually understand it and enjoying the different parts, going into detail after detail, looking into the history of the person who made the song because the story is just so great. And it's the story that builds the song. I mean, you can build the song with the music, but after you understand the music, what else is there to understand but the story? And after you understand what's the story, what's the part that you have to understand but the music underlying the beats and the grooves and the BPMs and the rhythms and how you dance and I don't know how to dance but I want to learn how. I mean I won second place in a break dancing composition in seventh grade where I led a group. The other team only won because they had a guy who could do cartwheels which was totally cheating. I mean I don't even think that's a break dancing move but I might be wrong I'll have to research that. Good things. You know, not always good things are what come out of your mouth. Not always good things are the things that you talk about, but it's always the good things that you remember. I mean, I, it's always the good things that I try to remember. I mean, it's always the good things that I look to remember. I mean, it's the joy. There's joy in everything, and you just have to find a way. Survive until you can live. I've lived. <laughs>